So this is something I have been dealing with and struggling with recently and talking to different people who are experiencing the same thing, the same feelings. And, you know, I kind of keep saying, I wish this was talked about more so that I could have at least seen this possibility and these stories when I was younger and when I was going through everything at that point. Um, and it could have possibly prevented what I'm struggling with now. But those stories don't exist for people to hear unless we make them the people who are experiencing this. So I kind of regret top surgery um, and maybe more than kind of. I had top surgery um, in 2015 when I, I was, it was a month before I turned 17. Um, so I was pretty young. It really wasn't even two years between actually knowing I was non-binary and getting top surgery. And top surgery was also something I was not sure about. I knew that I had dysphoria over um, kind of how I presented and was perceived by others um, with that chest. Like just kind of how I appeared in clothing um, and around other people. And I did find, but it was just like being out and, you know, in society, I wanted like that flat chest under a shirt. But by myself, my body itself, not how, not, I was, I guess this work about how my body took up space having that chest and not about my body itself as its own natural thing and state. Um, because I, I did like my chest. Um, like unclothed, I liked my chest. It was, I thought it was nice and I liked it. But I didn't like how it made me feel outside of that small portion of just being alone with my own body, just existing as myself. Because so much of our life is not that, it's existing around other people and that's where I was with work. So it was kind of a decision I struggled with a little bit, um, just because I had those conflicting thoughts and feelings. And that wasn't something I really talked with anybody about. And I honestly don't think I was at an age where I was able to fully like truly understand and take in all the different aspects of that. Like I definitely, I obviously realized at a surface level, like, yeah, there's a chance I could regret this. There's a chance that anybody could regret something down the line. Um, but I was just so sure that that wasn't the case. And so sure that like, this is how I feel. So this is my truth and this is just what people do. This is like, I'm trans masculine, I'm transitioning. I have dysphoria. So the solution for that is to get top surgery and then I'll be happy. I want a flat chest. But it, it was really so much more complicated than that. And it wasn't something I was able to realize yet. But it is a really, really big decision. Um, and I think until you can recognize that, and you can truly accept that it might not go the way you think it will and that there is a chance that later on as impossible as it feels now, as sure in your identity as you are now, until you can recognize 
the chance that that might not always be the case and that this might end up having consequences for you later down the road and not just be like, okay, yes, those things exist and yeah, maybe that will happen until you like can really fully accept that and the heaviness of that and everything that entails and accept that like like wow i i like i really like that i don't really know what i would do at that point and that is really scary that i can't see the rest of my life right now and i can't know and i don't know how everything is gonna play out and that's scary until you're like at that point of like really realizing and accepting that and respecting it. I, you know, don't think that you're necessarily at a point where it's the best to make the decision right now. I really don't think at that age that you can know absolutely everything about yourself and about how your life will play out. I realized only in the last couple of years that I'm a lesbian. I didn't know you could be non-binary and a lesbian. I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know you could like other non-binary people and be a lesbian. I didn't know any of that. I kind of just wish I had my original chest, like my natural original body when I'm with people. Um, that's something that I think would be very intimate to me and very like shared and special. And I feel like lacking that chest um, means that my experiences with people and the people I'm, you know, with dating, intimate with, um, it lacks some of those feelings for me because I think um, having breasts would, for me, um, are kind of very important and tied to those feelings. It's just, that's just how it is for me. I'm not saying that's how it is for others. Um, so my chest now, and you know, it's not a bad chest. I like it. It's nice. Um, it's just, I wish I had my old chest. What very much feels like a stark difference between myself and partners, and that's coming from me, my own feelings. It's not coming from my partners. My partners have all really liked my chest um, and not avoided it or anything. But those are just the feelings that I have on my end. And I really wish that the experience I could have with people was just having a test, like having breaths, um, having like the same type of body, you know, from a baseline level as my partners and being able to just coexist together with that and being able to share my chest with partners um yeah and I don't really know how to explain it better than that I don't think it's something that really could be understood unless you're also coming from a similar place so it's just knowing that the rest of my life I kind of just have to deal with and accept this regret and then I'm not gonna ever have the experiences that I want to be able to and like so deeply wish I could have and that I'm always going to have some sort of a barrier with other people even if it's just in terms of being on some level uncomfortable or upset with my body um, when I'm with people I I'm just never going to have like type of intimacy that I want to be able to have and I wish I could have.
and I, you know, feel like I don't have a complete connection um, to just people that I'm with, um, like romantically, intimately sharing myself with. I feel like I don't have as whole a connection as possible or that I could have had this not been the choice I made. You know, maybe had I not made that decision today, I would be maybe wanting top surgery and wanting to pursue that. But I regret having made the decision when I did. And I regret now not being able to know which way would be better not being able to see for myself, kind of having robbed myself of that experience and ability. I, I made that decision and I did that at such an early point in my life, like at such an underdeveloped point. I'm not saying you're going to regret surgery because when I, when I was at that point, when I made that decision, um, you know, it was a lot of being shown from family videos of people that had detransitioned and, or had just regretted stuff or things that had been gone horribly wrong. And so I was so against seeing any narrative that, didn't fit mine and that was outside of mine because it really just felt like an attack and it felt like people just trying to change my mind to prevent me from what I needed to do and that was what I felt I needed um and this isn't that you know I'm trans I'm non-binary my identity hasn't gone away I haven't changed my mind it's only gotten more complex and deeper it's it it you know looking back the identity I had at the time and who I felt I was and was in the world was very surface level you know you can't realize that I think until you just get older and actually have more experiences and get more involved with the community and just being with other people. You know, you can't as like a kid being isolated. Your whole life is just kind of existing at school and at home. You you can't form that like really deep sense of identity that's so connected to others and to your community. I wish I had waited. A while to make that decision. Even at 18, had I waited until then, it would have been too early for me. Um, I wish I had dove in to those feelings I had that were conflicting and that I had some discomfort and uncertainty about it, everything. It's it's not something that has ruined my life. But yeah, at times it feels kind of like ruining and like soul crushing. And that's just how it's gonna feel. That's just something I'm gonna struggle with probably forever. So there's no solution, there's no fix, like there's nothing I can do at this point. Any attempt at like reconstruction or whatever I think would just be worse for me. I think this is the best I can have now is the chest I have now. It's not the worst thing that I've ever experienced and it won't be the worst thing or piece of my life. But it's there and it's significant. And it sucks, and it is a struggle, 
and it is not something that can be overcome or that can be changed. So that is just my experience. That's the experience I've had with top surgery, with this choice I made. So that's that's just my experience. And that's where I'm at. You know, I have a great life. And I'm very grateful for the life I have and very proud of myself. But there is a significant part of that that is just surrounded by regret and hurt from that. That will always be there, unfortunately. And that I wish wasn't. And I wish I could go back and or, you know, have a redo button. But I don't. So that will be there with me for the rest of my life. And it sucks. Um, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes it feels like it is, as silly as that might seem. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I love being non-binary. I, I love my gender, I love my sexuality. I, I, I so love these parts of myself. I am so happy and so grateful that I am these things and that I get to, to be this and to have these incredible experiences tied to being this. But I do have that regret and I can't have the full experiences I, I wish I could have and that I feel that I need to be able to have and I really desire. So I just hope that whoever does watch this can take something away from it. And hopefully something that's impactful in some positive way, even if it's small, you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't want anyone to take anything like really negative away from this video, even though it kind of a pretty negative video. The point of it is to just kind of be good and be useful and, you know, in just a small way. You know, I hope I can do that for people, for even if someone 